guys, I'm going to make a uh, Halloween card, and this is the first time doing a uh, tutorial on making a card, so bear with me. I'm going to really try hard to stay in frame this time. I'm so bad about that. Anyhow, I'm starting with a pre-made card, and I don't know the maker, I apologize. But it's a yellow card. I'm going to use the Recollections Autumn Collection uh, cardstock paper. Beautiful double-sided papers. I just love them all, but I'm going to stay fairly simple for this card. I've gone ahead and pre-cut some of my papers, and uh, I'm going to have a layer with the blue, and then some printed cardstock, and then we're going to do some stamping on top of that, add some ribbon, do a little distressing, we'll be good to go. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to go ahead and do a little bit of distressing on the blue layer of this card. And I've got to get a new foam for my distressing tool. And I don't need a lot of ink, and this is a really juicy ink pad, so it's not going to take too long. Just go ahead and rub this all the way around. Soften it a little bit. And that will do for that. Tear this off and put on my blue. Oh, I want to tell you a real quick little trick that I do because um, I try to save these and use them as often as I can, but I forget sometimes what color they are. So I just write on the uh, back side in some permanent black marker the initials for the color that I'm using. Like for this is VP. I don't know if you can see it on here, but it's for vintage photo. And that's the next color that I'm going to be using. I'll set this aside for a second. And I'm just going to do the very edges of the pattern paper. And I always rub a little bit off because I don't want to put too much on here. But we're just going to age the edges a little bit. I think it just gives it a little bit more depth and it transitions better, I think, layer to layer. Okay, so now we've got this layer that'll sit on top here, like that. See how much of a difference a little bit of that uh, distressing does or makes? Alright, so I'm going to set those aside for a second. I'm going to do a little bit of stamping. I've got these Imagines, um stamps. Halloween um, Snagum stamps, and I've got a haunted house and a happy Halloween, and we're going to punch each of these out. So I'm going to start with the haunted house, and I'm going to use some Stazon ink and just very easily and quickly stamp that. And set that aside. And I have a uh, Marvy, I guess is what it's called, um, punch. And this is a scalloped square, so the large scalloped square. I'm going to punch this out, and it fits in here just about perfect if I would have positioned it right the first time. And center this, punch it out. And there we have that. And now I'm going to go ahead and stamp my sentiment. Just peel that off. And stick this one on. And again, I'm going to use stays on. This time I'm going to stamp it on some blue cardstock that coordinates. It's the same blue as the background of the card. And I'm going to stamp that. Looks pretty good. Always cover up your stays on. You don't want it drying out. And for this, I'm going to use the, uh, I think this is the word window punch. It doesn't say, does it? I'm fairly new to the Stampin' Up um, punches, but this is a Stampin' Up punch. I think it's, well, I'm not sure. Maybe you guys can tell me which punch this is. But I'm going to go ahead and punch this out. So we've 
got that. And I'm going to go ahead and very quickly, without even using the tool, I'm just going to edge this just very lightly with the leftover ink that I had on this sponge. Just a little bit. And since I've still got my brown or my vintage photo on uh, pad on this, I'm going to go ahead and just barely edge the orange punch out, the haunted house. I just think it gives a more finished look. Okay. So, make sure that I don't have any ink on my hands. It's going to transfer to the pages. And we've got our card again. Make sure it's opening the right way. I have done that, or had the card backwards. Let's not talk about that. So anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and adhere this down. And center it. Looks pretty good. I'm going to take some ribbon before I put everything else together. I'm going to put some ribbon across here. And what I like to do is I run just a little bit of adhesive along the tape. It doesn't have to go all the way through, but it just helps me to hold it down into place. And I think I want it right about there. Press it down. Then I flip the page over and adhere the back side. Just like that. Looks pretty good. And now I can go ahead and adhere this to the actual card. And I'll put the measurements up on, on the screen for the uh, paper dimensions. I just wanted to save a little bit of time and already have those pre-cut. Okay, now we can go with this. I'm going to put... Uh, actually, I'm going to... I think I'm going to leave this flat. I may change my mind later and I can fix it. But I'm going to put this in the center. Try to get my head out of the camera, sorry. Got that. And then I'm going to bump the Happy Halloween up with some dimensionals. Center that over the ribbon. And there we have it. A really simple card. Um, only took a couple of minutes to make, but I think it's cute. Um, I may go back in with some um, crystal accents or crystal effect, whatever that's called, that's <laughs> Ranger, and um, maybe do a little bit more to that. I don't know yet. I'm going to have to look at it and decide. Um, but anyhow, there you go. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.